Hello, welcome to Flourish ICT Academy. Today, I want to teach you how to keep your laptop battery ready for years. Laptop battery is very important. And knowing how to keep it ready for as long as the life of the laptop is very, very important. If you buy a new laptop and for the first few months, the battery life is amazing. You can work for hours without charging it. But then, slowly things start to change. Suddenly, you are looking for an outlet every two hours in order to look for where to charge the laptop. Or suddenly, it starts turning off at 20%, you know, just giving up on life. And some laptop has even turned to like a television, whereby it shuts off completely whenever there is no power. A lot of people have been there, including me. What about you? Have you experienced that as well before? I'd like you to drop that in the comment section if you have experienced that before. So that is why it is very important to know how to keep your laptop battery ready for years. Laptop batteries cannot last forever, but if you care for yours and maintain it, you can keep it ready for as many years as possible. Now, let's start with a common mistake a lot of people make, especially in this part of the world. I mean, in Africa, regions where, you know, there is no access to 247 power. A lot of people keep their laptop plugged in all the time. You know, it feels logical because if it is 100%, then you are not going to run out of the battery. That is the reason why they keep it plugged in all the time so that when there is no power, the laptop battery can help them to work for a longer hours before, you know, they have access to power to charge it up again. But here is the problem. The lithium ion batteries, that is the technology behind the laptop battery, which most of the laptops are using today, don't like to be fully charged all the time. They don't like to be fully charged all the time. Why is that so? If your battery initially lasts five hours over time, if you continue to charge it 24 seven, I mean, always under the under percent, the charge capacity will reduce because the chemical and electrical component get weaker. The battery life will begin to decline. So in natural sense, what is declining is the full charge capacity and your battery will no longer last as you expected. Now, let me give you this analogy. Imagine that you just eat a meal right now and you are filled, you know, after the meal, and after 30 minutes, somebody just walk in and you are being forced to eat another meal, maybe after every 30 minutes to get fill again. How will you feel? Okay, that is exactly what happened to your laptop battery. When you keep it plugged in to power after it is full, it gets overstocked. And then what happens next is that it gets weakened and that damage the lifespan of your battery. Now, you might ask, what do you do? Instead, these are the things that you should do that I will recommend. Number one, keep your charge level between 20% and 80% most of the time to reduce battery stress. Don't overstress it by charging it two for seven. Then let your battery breathe. Don't suffocate it. If you must keep it plugged into power, unplug it for a bit during the day to give the battery a break. But because you have access to power, don't continually plug in your laptop to power. So that is the number one mistake that a lot of people are making and is killing the laptop battery. Don't keep it plugged in all the time. Let's look at the second one. The second one is just like the, the other side of the coin. Stop letting it drain to 0%. This is not good for your battery. Letting your battery drain completely before charging it is another habit that keeps battery at. Other technology of battery, which is naked-based battery, needed to be fully discharged, you know, needed full discharge cycle. But modern lithium-ion batteries eight dropping to 0% before you charge them off. If your battery drains to zero completely, the laptop shut off and hibernate in most cases, depending on the setting of the laptop. And what happens next is that the battery cells will not return to their full charge capacity. You will have lost some of the electrical power from the battery. If you do this very often, you are killing 
that battery gradually. So don't allow it to drain up to 0% before you charge it up. So instead, try to plug it in before it drops below 20%. And if you accidentally let it eat 0%, don't be panic, but try not to make it a habit. If it happens once in a while, it is not a problem. But if it becomes an habit, it is definitely going to damage your laptop battery. Now, the third enemy of the battery is heat. Heat is another enemy of your laptop battery, which can damage the battery faster. There is nothing that destroys a battery faster than heat. Have you ever noticed how your laptop gets hot when charging? Or how using it on a pillow makes the button feel like a mini oven? It drastically shortens the battery lifespan. It builds up or occur when the battery is overwhelmed. So that is why you must be wary of it. I did a video sometimes ago, and, and I explained 10 habits that damage your laptop. One of them as well is it. And I mentioned in that video that you must not use your laptop regularly on the bed or putting it on a pillow because it makes the laptop to generate heat. And the heat is not only going to damage your motherboard, it can also damage your laptop battery. It continues to reduce the lifespan of your battery. So using a lower wattage charger than recommended or keeping your laptop plugged in with additional devices like a phone charger Hard extra load to the battery. So whenever you are using a lower wattage charger than recommended for your laptop, or whenever you keep your laptop plugged in with additional devices connected to a drain battery from your laptop, you are charging other devices from your laptop that is adding an extra load to the battery. This is going to cause the system to generate it and it damage the battery over time. So also, if your laptop is getting heated, it means you have properly been using it for hours. If you have been using it for hours when you plug it, the laptop is generating a lot of heat. The best thing you can do in order not to damage the lifespan of your battery is actually to allow it to breathe for a while. You can shut down, you can close down, you can disconnect it for a while and allow it to cool off before you get back to work and continue what you are doing. So the next question is how to keep it cool. How do you keep your laptop battery? How do you keep your laptop cool whenever it's generating a lot of it that can damage your battery? Number one, use your laptop on a hard, flat surface. A cooling pad, a cooling pad is even better. Put your laptop on a hard and flat surface, like a table, not on a bed or on a pillow. Don't get used to using your laptop on a bed. The second point is don't leave it in a hot car or under direct sunlight. Don't use your laptop under direct sunlight. Don't use it in a very hot weather when the cooling system is not there. If your laptop gets excessively hot while charging, then unplug it and let it cool down before using it again. These are the habits that help to improve the lifespan of your battery. The fourth point that we are going to be looking at that damage the lifespan of your battery is cheap and random charger. Okay, if you lose your original laptop charger and then you are thinking of buying another one, don't go for the cheap one. You need to check the wattage, the recommended wattage for your laptop before you order for another one. Think again whenever you have a cheap and third party charger you know, that is not going to regulate the potent that is coming to your laptop properly. This can cause your laptop to overheat and damage the battery, shorten the lifespan, or even cause electrical damage to your computer. So some are so bad that they can even fry your laptop motherboard when you are using them. So this is why it is very, very important to consider that. If you are using a lower capacity charger than what is recommended, uh, let's say that your laptop needs 45 watts, but you are using a 25 watt to charge the laptop. It's going to take a longer time to charge, and that might also generate heat. This overwhelms the battery cell, and then it reduces its lifespan. So pay attention to that. That is very, very important. So instead of you to do all of that, always use the official charger 
that come with your laptop. If you need a replacement at all, get one from the same brand or a reputable manufacturer. Number five, if you ever plan to leave your laptop unused for weeks or months, maybe you are traveling and you are not going with your laptop or something happened to the laptop and you are not able, maybe you have a screen, you have all that technical problem with your laptop and you are not going to use that laptop for weeks or for months and your battery is connected to your laptop, that is going to reduce the lifespan. Don't just shut down the computer and forget about it in a safe or somewhere. Batteries lose charge over time. And if they go completely dead for too long, they might not turn back on. One of the things you can do is to ensure that you disconnect the battery from the laptop whenever you are not going to use it for a very long time. Other ways you can store it properly is charge it to 50% before you turn it off. Store it in a cool, dry place. If you are leaving it for a long time, maybe for months, turn it on occasionally and charge the battery back up to like 50% before you keep it back. So the number six step to keep your laptop battery heavy for a longer period of time. Don't use it while charging all the time. Yes. I know that sometimes we need to use our laptop while charging, but doing this constantly can generate extra heat, which as we have established is terrible for your laptop, especially depending on the kind of task that you are performing or how the weather is at that moment. If you are working in a very hot environment, plugging your laptop to use at that same time for all the period that you are working it's actually going to cause the system to generate a lot of heat. And then also remember there are some tasks that when you are performing them on your system, they put a lot of pressure on your system processor, which make the system to generate more heat. So that is why it is important to ensure that you don't plug it all the time that you are using it in order to minimize the heat that is being generated from your computer, which will have impact on your battery. What to do instead? Number one, if you can, unplug and use your battery sometimes to avoid constant charges stress. To avoid constant charge stress. If you can, unplug it if you still have a good battery and use your battery sometimes without plugging into power too. When using it while plugging, make sure it is on a cool and ventilated service. That is very important. And then the number seven ways of ensuring that your laptop earth is maintained and can serve you for a long, keep your software and battery driver updated. Software updates are not just for new features. They often include battery and system optimization. So that is why it is very important to ensure that your system is regularly updated. Running an updated software can make your laptop work harder than it needs to. And this is going to cause your laptop battery to drain very faster. What do you do instead? Number one, keep your operating system updated. If you are using a Windows operating system, if you go to the settings on your computer, you can actually check for an update. The same thing with Mac OS and every other OS. You, are, can, you can check for a system update and regularly run the update on your system. Also, update your battery driver. This is very important. On Windows, you can check that on the device manager of your computer to ensure that your battery driver is regularly updated. Now, before we draw conclusion on this important subject, it is all about balance. I need to let you know about this. And what are we talking about? Keeping your laptop battery heavy is not about never charging it or being paranoid about usage. No, that is not what I am talking about in this class today. It is all about balance. Avoiding extreme like 0% or 100% too often. That is exactly the point I am trying to make here. Okay? Keeping it cool and using a good charger. That is the summary of everything that we are talking about in this class today. Don't let it drain completely before charging. 
Don't use an underpowered charger and don't overload it by charging other devices with your laptop. Don't overload it, okay? Don't turn it to a charging station for your other devices. If you follow all of these simple habits that I have discussed with you today, you won't be looking for a new battery in just a year that you are using your laptop. That battery is not designed to die after a year. It is an habit, the usage habit that caused the battery to die before the expectant life of that battery. So instead, you will enjoy a longer battery life and viewer and knowing shutdown when you least expect them to do so. Because let's be honest with ourselves. No one likes the panic or a dying laptop when you are in the middle of something so important. So it is very important because of this to treat your battery very well and it will return the favor back to you. Treat it very well, okay? With all the things that we have discussed in this lesson today. So do you want to learn more, whether about laptop, about computer, about networking, whatever it is? At Flourish ICT Academy, our aim is to train the beginners and job seekers with relevant computer skills that will help them to succeed in this highly informative age. If you want to learn more about how we can help you to achieve all of that, check the description section of this video for the link to Flourish ICT Academy website or chat with the WhatsApp number display on the screen. You can look at this slide that I'm using right now you see all the contact data, the website address is there, and then you can also see the WhatsApp number. You can reach out for any question or you drop that in the comment section. I will respond to that. Thank you for taking your learning journey with me again today. If you have any question whatsoever, like I said, reach out via the WhatsApp number that you have on the screen or the description section of this video or in the comment section, the floor is yours, whichever means that you want to reach out. But definitely you are going to get a feedback from me about any of that. Thank you once again for taking your learning journey with Flourish ICT Academy. Like this video and do where to share it. See you in the next class. Bye for now.